so Bautista got and Chiquinado, they're facing off in the first round of the Madrid Open. Now, Bautista got he's playing, he's had some good results this year. He reached the semis of, in Miami. He lost to Sinner, who he's not really figured out how to beat because in Barcelona last in the, a couple weeks ago, he lost to Sinner as well. So he's so he's not really figured out how to beat Sinner yet. And he's still trying to work on that, but he has had he pushed Rublev close, the finalist of Monte Carlo, to a third set. It was a really tight match, so good result. And he also was able to make the final in in Doha, and at the Open Suite de France. So he's had some really good results this year. He's played well for this year for the most part. So he's. You know, he's going to be confident ahead because his opponent has kind of dwindled from the heights he once was some time ago. So, Chiquinado is a player that he did well. He's a good clay quarter. He made the semifinals of Roland Garros. But now, he's kind of fallen from those heights. He's kind of fallen off a cliff. He's no longer where he used to be. He's now ranked at 104, which is a far cry from where he used to be, when he, where he was at like high as in the top 20 but now he's now ranked 104th in the world so he's now you know he's now like no longer where he used to be but he's had some decent results especially in the qualifying tournaments this year so he'll be confident that maybe it's a little bit of a resurgence and maybe he can have a little bit of a resurgence, come back, have some good wins again, and, and get back to the heights he used to be. Now, Chequenado and Bautista Gut, they met in St. Petersburg once. It was in St. Petersburg they met once. And Bautista Gut won that one in straight sets in, in 2018. That was the year Chequenado made the semifinals at Rolling Girls. So my prediction here, I think it's going to be a straight test win for RBA. I think that's going to be two tight sets because Chiquinado is really good on clay and he had some good wins in the qualies. But I think it's going to be a straight test win for RBA because I think that he's he's playing really well right now and he's really playing at his best. So I'm going to pick RBA to win this in a straight set. So straight sets for RBA is my prediction.